uh, on the voltage system from uh, 10 to 70 volts. This is uh, for the relay feedback test. The uh, outline, I'm going to go over an overview of the system and then show our steady state operating curve. Show the, uh, the relay feedback, show the results, and talk about the conclusions. Do the schematic showing uh, we have a motor connected directly to the generator, which produces a voltage output going to the load. We have a voltage transmitter that sends that, uh, the output voltage back to our computer and then around for the input to the motor. Here's a simplified uh, box diagram where we have our input, our control variable. Uh, we input the motor speed, goes to the system, and we uh, get a voltage uh, output. Here's our steady state operating curve. We have uh, from 10 volts to 70 volts, and it's an uh, operating range of 65% uh, motor speed to 80%. Here's the parameters for the, uh, the relay. 70 to 80% motor speed. Uh, the floor is 70%. The ceiling is uh, 80%. The set point value for the output voltage is 60 volts and uh, a large uh, case of C. Now on the graph, this is a, uh, you see the, the green shows the 80% motor input for the, the high value and going down to 70%. And every time uh, on the output voltage where it crosses our set point, the blue line, that's where the voltage shifts from high to low. Here's the calculations. The frequency is just one over the period. Amplitude ratio is the control variable over the uh, manipulated variable. The ultimate gain is that. Here's the final results. The average uh, of three different periods for the control variable was uh, 6.9 volts. The uh, motor input change was 10%. The amplitude ratio was 0.69. The uh, period is uh, 0.18. And the ultimate frequency is uh, 5.6 cycles per second. And the ultimate gain is uh, 1.8. So in conclusions, this is uh, the results of the ultimate gain of uh, 1.8. Period uh, 1.18 also second ultimate frequency 5.6 cycles per second and the ratio of uh, 0.69 volts per uh, percent.